Uh, hey guys, uh, back again. Um, so uh, these are just, uh, I, I, I like taking photographs and, and I had the opportunity to travel around uh, a lot when I was working at Opera. So uh, when I take photographs, you know, a lot of times I, I'll take a picture and uh, I'll get something in mind, you know, when I, when I see this through, my, through the viewfinder or I'll look at it later in the, on the computer. I'll get something in mind, and so what I try to do is, you know, a lot of times I'll put some pictures up, and at the bottom you can see I, I try to put a caption to kind of give that picture, you know, a different kind of an angle. Uh, so I'll, I, it's a, probably, hopefully, not very long, so I'll just uh, run through a few of these pictures and uh, maybe, you know, just mention some of the stories. So this was actually taken in Munich, and we were just waiting outside to go to a conference. Uh, we, we were on a car, and we had a flat tire, so we were standing there. And I took this picture, and it just, you know, I named it I'll Be Watching You, kind of, I saw the, the, that tower in the background looking over, which was, looked like a church or an old church or something, looking over the cars. Um, this, was, uh, this was in Italy, and this was a couple who is, uh, it looks like they're about to kiss, but they weren't, they were actually, they'd, I saw them kissing, and I was like, oh, I need to capture this, and they were, you know, just finishing the kiss. So, but it looks like, and it reminded me of the, the Hallmark or the Archie's cards that, you know, you used to get um, uh, in India when we were teenagers. So I named it, they still do that. Um, uh, this was in, um, in Oslo. I was walking back from work. This is when I used to work for opera. So I was walking back from work and I saw this guy. So this was, you know, in, op in, in Oslo, six months it's darkness. So this could be 3 p.m. or 1 p.m. and it'll you know, look like this, it'll be dark. So I, I was walking down, and this was one of the roads. I saw this guy. He was walking up the street as well. So I saw him, and I kind of felt that this is kind of how I look when, I, when I'm walking back. So I took this picture, and, you know, it was just a walk back home. That guy was also walking back home. I was on my way. He was on his way. So I kind of found it interesting, so I took this picture. Um, this, was, uh, this was in Kiev to the, to the Ukrainian Vladimir here. Um, so this was, our, we were sitting in a, in a restaurant in Kiev, and these two women were chatting. And I, just, I was just clicking pictures, and I saw, shot, got the shot. And really, <laughs> and the caption I used was, I think the spell worked. It looks like the girl, you know, telling her which grandmother or something. You know, I, like, I think the spell worked. Um, this, was, uh, this was, again, I think, in, in, again, in Ukraine, Lviv. Um, saw this uh, guy carrying a Angelina Jolie handbag, and I clicked it. And it, it kind of very interesting, because you can't see anyone else in the picture, but you can see Angelina Jolie kind of looking over. So I called it the voyeur. Um, this is, I think, in Russia. But yeah, there's a, there's a broken, this was the driver. He was driving around, and the grass, glass was broken. There was a crack on the glass. But he stuck a cross on it, and you know he was driving around. So. Uh, it is kind of, you know, just one of those moments. You look at it, you're like, oh, okay, you know, he's put it there. It is, so I, I call it, where does the faith lie? Um, this was back in Oslo uh, at a club. They used to play live music, and there was this picture, which, so it, they, had, they had a lot of random stuff behind them. This was a bar where there was a resident band, and one of this was these pictures, and it was just a picture I saw again and again, and just kind of stuck to me, you know, it, it, was, it stayed in my mind, and I just got this picture Took the, took the picture of all these guys standing in front of her, playing their instruments, and, and you know, she was just, so it was kind of like, uh, yeah, the forgotten entertainer. Um, this is, again, in Oslo, this was, I think, at 3 a.m. I, I, I just walked out of a club. I had a camera with me. Uh, <laughs> I walked out of a club, and they were, just got this picture, and I didn't realize what I clicked, but when I looked at it, I called it some unlucky, some are not. You can see this guy standing alone. There's a couple there, and there's three guys. So it kind of just resonated with me. You know, some are lucky, some are not. Um, <coughs> this was a friend. She was walking, and I took this picture, and I called it the fly or the spider because all these railings on the side, they kind of look like a spider web. It could be a spider web, or it could be her wings. So it's kind of, um, you know, that's what made sense. <laughs> this was in, in uh, I think, in France. And this dog was sitting in the display. Everyone was looking at them. And he really looked miserable. All the guys, all the couples and the girls standing outside, they were like, oh, so cute. But he looked miserable, right? <laughs> and so I called it one of trade places. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at him. Uh, or her. 
Uh, this is, I think, uh, by far the most interesting one, and I'm going to tell you a small story around it. I think Shwetang's already heard this maybe a million times. But this was uh, in Kyiv. Uh, I was there to talk at a university, give a, give a talk in university. Kyiv's the capital of Ukraine. So when we got there, you know, Opera had this concept, uh, you know, when you travel, you, we traveled cheap, and, you know, we would fly economy, and you'd stay at a hotel, which shouldn't be more than $100 a night. So when we landed there, uh, I looked at where I was going to stay, and it said Hotel Kiev. I was like, okay, it sounds fancy. You know, it's Kiev and it's Hotel Kiev. So we go, to, we, we go to the city, and it's, you know, in the center of the city, it's like, like Brigade Road or MG Road. It's, you know, the main shopping street. At the end of the main shopping street, there's this big, massive building. And that said Hotel Kiev on the top. So I was like, wow, I'm staying in Hotel Kiev. It's like the, the main hotel, it seems like. So we, we go there. I was with two colleagues of mine, um, uh, a Ukrainian girl and a Russian guy. And so we go in there, and they're like, and it, you, 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 know, you park the car, and you walk in the lobby, and you kind of know why you managed to get it for less than $100, because it looks shabby, and it wasn't you know, well-maintained, and it was quite old. So anyways, we go in there. We uh, check in. We go up to our rooms, and uh, I open my laptop. I have to, this was pr over the weekend, and we have a conference. I have to give my talk. So I wanted to prepare my talk. I needed the internet access. So I was sitting there, and I was like, I uh, can't find Wi-Fi. So I go, go down to, to the reception, and I'm like, uh, Wi-Fi? And no one, no one talks English. So I'm like, Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi. Um, so you know, she's like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 data machine, which is the computer, right? Uh, I'm like, yeah, 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 Wi-Fi, I need internet, internet. She's like, uh, OK. Um, like, she just points, and she's like, oh, go across the, you know, she's like, no, 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 go there. And I see a door uh, across the lobby, so she's like, yeah, just go there. I was like, okay. Um, so, so I go there, I have my laptop in my hand, and this door is, is a door with like, beads hanging in front of it, and there's a guy standing outside, like a big guy in a black suit, and I'm like, okay. I was like, uh, and he, I go there, and he just looks at me, doesn't say anything, he opens, like, you know, just pulls the beads aside, and I go in. And I walk in, it's a black, it's dark, you know, lights around, takes me about five minutes to realize, look around, I'm standing in a strip bar. I'm like, whoa, I needed Wi-Fi. I'm in a strip bar. <laughs> I'm like, what, what just happened? And anyway, I go to the bar. There's a, there's a counter right next to me. So I go there, thinking I can sit down there and you know, just check. And luckily, the girl behind the counter uh, spoke English. Probably the only person I met in that hotel who knew English. So anyway, I sit down, and, and I open my laptop. and, and Immediately, she comes over. She's like, oh, you need Wi-Fi? Uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, here's the password. And <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm sitting there in the strip bar. And I'm like, here. Yeah. And I'm like looking over. And I'm like, is it rude if I don't look there? And, 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 like, and after a while, I realized, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm in a strip bar. Why am I looking at my computer? I switched my computer down. <laughs> right? So I started looking the other side. I get a drink, I get a drink, and uh, I go and sit down on the couch. And I you know, take my phone, I message my friends. I'm like, the Wi-Fi is in the strip bar. So, and I'm not kidding. So come down. So I'm sitting on the couch, um, and my friends walk in, and they're like, oh, you were right. So eventually, you know, we have a few drinks, and we're sitting there. We're like, have to make this presentation. So open. And it was the coolest thing to do. You know, you're a geek. The story you can tell uh, sitting in a strip bar. Uh, <laughs> You do get some Greek cred for it. Uh, so I open my laptop, you know, and, and I'm uh, working. And of course, you get all these funny glares from these women. You know, the girl, the, the couch next to me, the girl there, she's giving a lap, lap dance, and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm so anyways, I, I start working. And, and I'm on Skype, uh, and my friend back, uh, you know, my colleagues back in Oslo, they're online. So I see this one guy, Roberto, a good friend of mine. So I, I, I Skype call him, I video call him, uh, and he's sitting at work, and he just, he's like, oh, hold on, let me get my headset. He gets his headset and calls on. He's like, can't, dude, I can't see you. And I've got my headphones on. And I was like, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, don't worry, don't worry. So I slowly turn my laptop. <laughs> and he's like, what's going on? What's going on? He's like, whoa, what the? <laughs> Where are you? So I was like, believe it or not, I'm sitting in a strip club. He's like, lots of questions. First of all, why are you on the computer? I was like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. He's like, dude, really? I was like, yeah. So he's like, okay. Uh, anyways, we switched, uh, uh, I switch off the Skype, and I try making my presentation. You know, it works a little bit. But, um, and this lady comes over, and she's trying to talk to me now. You know, she's probably curious. She's one of the, you know, not a lot of guys there. So she's bored, and, she's, and she comes over. She's like, uh, this strip club, you data machine. <laughs> I'm like, 
yeah, I, I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. So I was like, yeah. As he just smiled, you know, probably trying to make conversation, didn't know more English. Uh, that's it. Anyways, we go back, and next morning, so this is in the morning, um, we come back down, and we're like, Wi-Fi? We have to, is he like, yeah, yeah stri uh, strip club, that's it. And believe me, we walk in, and it's not a strip club anymore. It's a cafe. It's, there's no strippers, nothing. This is the morning, and we walk in, and uh, yeah, of course we're a bit disappointed. Where we're like, ah. <laughs> we're like, oh, okay, we can make the presentation. So we sit down, start making a presentation. We get coffee. The same girl behind the counter is still there, you know, who speaks English. And she gives us coffee, and we're like, okay, sit down. Now we'll work. And this is Sunday morning, I think around like 11.30 or something. So we're sitting and working, and believe me, all the strippers from last night walk in to practice. So this is them. So this is one of the strippers on the pole dance. This is practicing. No one else there. That no one, they're not in their dresses, they're just in their you know, uh, pajamas and whatnot, and they're practicing on the poles. So I had my camera, and I had to take this picture. So I had my bag, my computer laptop bag, so I took out my camera while these girls were practicing. So you can see these are laptops in the, at the bottom of the screen. These are our laptops. We were working, and there were strippers behind us, you know, in front of us, uh, doing their practice. So yeah, just one of the interesting stories from, uh, <laughs> from Kiev. Uh, that's all. Thanks a lot.